Venus, Earth's toxic twin, now takes our place in the solar system. The sun burns softer here and the planet no longer faces the full fury of solar radiation. Its thick clouds of sulfuric acid still swirl above, but the light that reaches them is gentler, turning the golden sky into a haunting glow. For the first time in billions of years, Venus begins to cool. Deep beneath those clouds, pressure still crushes the ground with 90 times Earth's weight. Volcanoes lie buried under smog, and lightning dances across a dense orange haze. The temperature drops from 460 degrees to around 200, still deadly but no longer a furnace. For a moment, it almost seems like a step toward life. But Venus's true curse isn't the heat, it's its air and silence within. The planet spins so slowly that its molten core barely moves, leaving no magnetic field to shield it from the sun. With no tectonic plates to vent its heat, the core stagnates, and the carbon dioxide blanket traps every ray of light, recycling it forever. Still high in the atmosphere, about 50 kilometers up, there's hope. There, pressure and temperature are close to Earth's, and some scientists believe microbial life could float within the clouds even now. What do you think? Could life exist in the sky of a dead world? Drop a like, leave your thoughts, and subscribe. Next, we'll see what happens when Mars takes Earth's orbit.